today we're going to be reviewing the application Breckle, which is a 3D motion capture software. I'll be using the Xbox One with a Windows adapter in this recording. Installing the application is very simple. It is install, next, 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 next. It's about, a, I'm going to probably say about a 500 meg download in total with all the drivers. Um, but it's a very easy application to get up and running. So this is a test recording of what I recorded. Um, as you can see, it pretty much just picks me up straight away. I'm there eating some prosciutto as I'm recording. Um, it's motion capturing my arms quite well. Um, I did notice, and you'll notice it a little bit later, is that my arms, oh, sorry, my hands are a bit too close to my body. And you'll see the FBX file goes in. But you can see that it's actually capturing me opening my hand. Um, the other thing that I've noticed is that on my foot, it's more capturing my top of my ankle to my foot. And you'll see that in the FBX a little bit later that the feet are kind of on an angle. So it's probably because I didn't align the sensor to where the floor is. Um, that probably would have been handy when I did it, but oh well. But these are these options that are available in Breckle in the top right. So let's now move into Blender and let's cr quickly create a rig for this character. Now I'm going to use the Auto Rig Pro tool, which I've already done a previous review on. But if you need more information, go check that one out. But for now, let's just rig this character uh, and select Get Selected Objects. We've got our character. Let's zoom in a little bit. Add a neck, chin, shoulders, wrist, root bone, ankles. Go. And so now this is going to create all the bones. From here, we go into object mode, match to rig. And then from here, let's now select all our mesh. Dun, 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 dun. And last will be the rig. Go over to the skin tab. Let's quickly just go bind. And that should hopefully bind the rig to the mesh. Hopefully. And hopefully I'm not full of lies. And hopefully it's going to work. And it's going to be all good. So that's now calculated and done all its binding and auto rigging. So let's just quickly see how we've got. So I'm just going to select the rig, go to pose mode. And let's just make sure everything moves. Good, good. Now the rig's not going to be 100% perfect. But I'm just quickly trying to get the rig together. Now let's import our anim animation. So file, import, FBX. And now let's select, select our Breckle FBX file, which has got our um, date, what time we did it. Beautiful, well organized, loving this tool. So we'll click import. And so at the back here, we've got our data, as you can see, moving around. Let me just increase the frames to a thousand. And obviously, that's the point where I'm eating some prosciutto, as you do, as you're recording a your video. So now we're going to combine these two. I'm just going to use the Auto Rig Pro tool again. Let's go select the source. We're going to click on the remap. I'm going to select the source. I'm going to select the this rig, target rig animation. What does this say? Free source, clears, dit, sure. Let's do that. Let's build the bone list so that we've got kind of bone, both bone lists lining up with each other. Now, the first thing we need to do is set the root bone. So let's find the hip bone. Where is the hip bone? Head, hips, set as root. Then let's retarget. And now we've got a bit of a Frankenstein thing happening at the moment. <laughs> so the reason for this is uh, probably these bones are set to IK or FK. So let's go into pose mode. I'm going to select the root bones down here. And let us find... What am I looking for down here? So let's go from IK to FK. IK to FK. And it does seem like that we're in a bit of the chest. 
<laughs> but as you can see, it's pretty good data. Uh, yes, we have to edit it a little bit. Um, that is the limitations. But right now, we've got the major concepts. <laughs> Now that you've actually seen the FBX model, you can actually see that it's just capturing above my ankle and just my foot down the bottom here. You can see that my hands are very close to the body. Um, and that's a mistake that I did and that I keep having to remember to learn. Up here in the top right hand corner, you'll see the sensor auto align tool um, to put the floor down. But you can see overall, it's captured my data quite well. I mean, I have to go back and fix up the hands, but big whoop. That saved me a lot of animation time. And so I'm very happy with how this application works and I very much look forward to using it into the future.